Okay, this is chapter five, hands-on exercise number one. We are working with the chapter five file called sociology. And what we see on this particular spreadsheet is a whole bunch of sociology textbooks that we might see at universities. They are listed by discipline. So within the broad topic area of sociology, we have things like criminal justice, social problems, race, class, and gender, social psychology, aging and death, and so on. Within each area, let's say of the area of criminal justice, we have, uh, or within the discipline of criminal justice, we have areas like deviance and juvenile delinquency. Within, say, the discipline of uh, research and stats, we have data analysis and social statistics and so on. So sociology is the broad area. We have or the broad topic. We have disciplines underneath that broad topic and then we have areas underneath the discipline. We have book titles, so each one of those has a book title. In addition, copyright year, the number of units sold wholesale and the wholesale price, and then the number of units sold retail and the retail price, and then total sales wholesale and retail, and then total book sales. So for example, this book called A Collection of Readings in Deviant Behavior is in the third edition copyright year 2014 with total book sales of 346,000. Okay. And in this hands-on exercise, we're going to lear learn about subtotaling and outlining. So we're going to learn how to subtotal the data, add a second subtotal, collapsing and expanding subtotals, and grouping and ungrouping data. What we're trying to do with these subtotals and these groupings is to summarize uh, large amounts of data. If we look and we scroll down into the spreadsheet, you know, we have about 85 records. Um, and in the raw data form, it's hard to see which books are selling the most. And it, it's just hard to see a summary of the data. The subtotaling will allow us to do so. So let's get right to it. Let's click on the Data tab. And in the Data tab, Notice we have this outline area, which includes grouping, ungrouping, and subtotaling. Okay? So that's where we're going to be working with the data tab in this area right here. But before we do any subtotaling, the biggest mistake that students make is they do not sort the data first. So we have to sort the data. So we're going to go ahead, um, we'll just put our cursor in A5 for right now. Um, we're going to sort the data. Uh, let's see, how are we going to sort the data? Well, we're going to sort the data by discipline. Values, and we're going to do it A to Z. Okay, and then we're going to sort, um, we're going to add a level, and we're going to sort by uh, area. And we're also going to do A to Z there. Okay, and then we'll, we'll click OK. All right, now our data is sorted. It's sorted first by discipline, aging and death, criminal justice, family, introductory, and so on. And then it's sorted by area underneath that. So we have the aging and death and death and dying books before the aging and death sociology of aging because D comes before S. So now that our data are sorted, we can do the subtotaling that we want to do. Okay. Again, the biggest mistake is students are working with subtotaling and they don't sort the data first and then you don't get the results that you're looking for. So let's go ahead. I'll put our cursor in A5 just for fun, but we're going to the subtotal area. And this is the subtotal menu item. It says, at each change in what column or what field, so we're going to do discipline, at each change in discipline, um, we want it to do certain things. And our output will be add a subtotal to what? And we want sales wholesale and sales retail and total book sales. So we want those three items to be checked. So it's going to produce sales wholesale and sales retail and total book sales subtitle, uh, a subtotal for each change in discipline. And then we're going to go ahead and click OK. All right, now some new things appear on the screen. We get these numbers 1, 2, 3 in the top left-hand side of the screen. And then at each change in discipline, we get a subtotal for 
sales wholesale, sales retail, and total sales. So very quickly, if I wanted to know what's the total amount of sales of criminal justice books, that's right here in L21, and we've sold 7.439 uh, million in criminal justice textbooks. Okay, now that we've done the subtotal by discipline, we're going to add a su second subtotal by area as well. So it doesn't matter where our cursor is, but let's go to the subtotal area. And it says, again, the default is at each change in discipline, do something. Well, we want to change at each change in area. Now, again, we didn't talk about this, but we can do a sum, count, average, min, max, product. We can do whatever we want to. Um, in this case, for our second subtotal, we're going to do at each change in area. We're going to keep everything the same. Um, it's still going to be a sum. We're still going to do sales, wholesale, sales, retail, and total book sales. But this time, we want to deselect the right, replace current subtotals. So we want to keep the discipline subtotals there. We just want to add an area subtotal as well. I have to check the box to deselect replace current subtotals and then click OK. All right, now I have my second subtotal that has appeared. We have aging and death first and the death and dying area. Once we've finished all the titles there, we get a death and dying subtotal. Same thing with sociology of aging. We get a subtotal there and then we get an overall aging and death total. We move to criminal justice. We have a deviance subtotal and a juvenile delinquency subtotal and then we have the criminal justice total. Okay? So we've had we have two layers of subtotaling going on. First by discipline and then by area. Okay, in this next step we're going to talk about um, collapsing the subtotals. We have these new buttons up here, one, two, three, and four. Four is the data as it appears right now without any uh, consolidation of the data. We get all the raw data in four. Let's click on three. If we click on three, we get three um, totals. Well, in this first case, we get three totals. We get all the area totals. So we have death and dying total, sociology of aging total, and the aging and death total. Okay. So we get the totals by area and by discipline but we've lost all the other raw data. So we just have summarized data here and it makes it easy to see book sales for a particular area or discipline. If we cl click on just, uh, if we click on number two, all we get are the discipline totals. So we've lost the area totals and all we have now are the nine or so discipline totals. So this is a real summarized view of the data. If we click on the number one, all we get is the grand total. It's a single number of all the, the textbooks that we've sold. doesn't matter what area or discipline. We've sold 115 million in wholesale, about 5 million in retail for about 120 million total book sales. So that's the power of the subtotaling. We go from our normal view, which is number four here, to a more summarized view that has both area and discipline totals to just area, uh, I'm sorry, to just discipline totals when we click on number two to just the grand total when we click on number one. The final thing that we're going to do in this hands-on exercise is grouping and ungrouping data. So if the subtotal and collapsed rows together, the grouping is going to collapse columns together. So let's click on the group arrow in the outline group of the data tab. So we're in the data tab. Let's click on the group arrow and then it says group and auto outline. We're going to select the auto outline. So we're going to let Excel um, tell us what it thinks should be grouped together. And it says modify existing outline, click on yes. Okay, now here's what we're going to see. Let's go back to uh, number four on the subtotaling, which gives us the original data. The grouping does the same thing. If we click on number three, it's the lowest level of grouping. If we click on number two, it gets summarized a little bit. And what it has summarized is sales, whole sales wholesale and sales retail. And if we click on number one, it just gives us the total book sales. So it's collapsing the data. It's taking 
wholesale units times wholesale price and generating a wholesale total. When we click on number two, it does all that math for us, but it gets rid of the number of units wholesale and the wholesale price, for example. And when we click on number one, we get rid of sales wholesale and sales retail, and all we have is the total book sales. So that's the idea behind sorting and grouping. It's summarizing rows and columns of data to make them uh, more readable, more summarized, and we can quickly get results that we want to see.